Big event happening tonight in downtown Buffalo right now, the theater district getting ready for its curtain call. Is this where I sing? You can guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just had to tell me not to sing. No. Well, tonight marking the 40th anniversary of Curtain Up to kick off the fall season of professional theater here in Western New York. Such a great night. The busy theater season means big business as well for local restaurants and shops along Main Street. Tonight, we will be hearing from a couple of owners and the woman behind tonight's big event. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley has been checking out preparations. She joins us live. Eileen, Curtain Up. Well, Jeff and Leah, this is the place to be tonight in the heart of the city's theater district. And of course, Buffalo has a thriving theater community with all the great theaters here in Buffalo. But tonight they are stepping things up to kick off that theater season for the fall and also celebrating the 40th anniversary of Curtain Up. When I stopped by the Bijou on Main Street, Michael Greco and his team were hard at work preparing for Friday's Curtain Up crowd. How are you feeling tonight? This is a 40th anniversary celebration of Curtain Up. A little nervous, but at the same time excited. I mean, I've been involved with 35 of them, so every year it's a little different, um, but it's exciting and it's it's crazy, it really is. But until the party's uh, over with, we're, we're busy. Greco is executive chef and owner of the Bijou. This year, the famous theater district restaurant is also hosting the Theater Districts Association kickoff dinner party. We're excited about having a new season again and we're redoing the menu and we've done a lot of remodeling and stuff, so we're all ready to go. Our city, we're the longest running um, curtain up event like uh, this kind and there is going to be so much excitement down Main Street tonight. Lisa Ludwig is this year's curtain up chair. After the kickoff dinner, the event opens with a variety of performances as curtains rise simultaneously at the many different theaters. If you're not going to catch a show, there's a free street party you won't want to miss. We're going to have bands right here. We're going to have fire dancers. We're going to have the AKG Artmobile is going to be down here. There's going to be food trucks. Our local restaurants are going to have food. And it's just so exciting to celebrate the opening of the theater season. I just go chair. Outside the downtown bazaar, Joe Joy of the newly opened Lulu's Pub was also getting ready for curtain up business. We're excited to uh, see the influx in business. We've regionally relocated down here, um, so we've been open since uh, April, the downtown bazaar, and the Lulu's Pub has been open for five weeks now. And if you are coming down to Curtain Up, the downtown bazaar will be open until midnight. We're really excited for the uh, theater goers to come down and enjoy their celebration with us uh, and get to uh, come into the downtown bazaar and see the five different amazing restaurants we have and, and grab a uh, cold beer or glass of wine from Lulu's Pub and hopefully come back uh, before the other shows. The fall theater season also means a new Broadway series begins at Shays. Mrs. Doubtfire the musical opens Sunday. And it's nice to see the theaters are bringing some major shows in and they're excited and the, the staff is excited. So we're looking forward to a good season. Now, if you are coming down to see a show, some of them have already been sold out. But again, I've been told there is something for everyone and that street party will be on from 10 until midnight right along Main Street here so that everyone will have Main Street as their stage tonight. Jeff and Leah, I'll give you a bow. Uh, yes, yeah. it's your stage out Such there right now. Such a wonderful night. The weather looks perfect as well.